Former Liberal Cabinet Minister Hunter Tutu has been blocked from returning to the party's caucus. Tutu is back at work after completing treatment for alcohol addiction, but he'll continue as an independent MP. He abruptly resigned from Cabinet and the Liberal Caucus in May to enter rehab. A spokesperson for Tutu says he's reconnecting with constituents in Nunavut for now and will return to Ottawa in the fall. For more on this, let's bring in CTV's Don Martin, who joins me from the nation's capital. Uh, Don, any insight as to why Mr. Tutu is not being welcomed back into the Liberal Caucus? Well, I wish I did have some, Jennifer, but uh, it is uh, a, a bit of a head shaker. Um, there have been cases in the past with people who have had uh, alcohol issues and sought treatment or taken a vow of temperance or whatever. Uh, most particularly Seamus uh, O'Regan, the MP from Newfoundland, who said he was seeking uh, treatment for uh, alcohol issues. And, and Justin Trudeau's prime minister, I was very supportive of, of him seeking treatment. And in this case, uh, sources are telling me that he is not coming back in the caucus, not now and not in the fall, as he suggested he might look at trying to do. Uh, not ever. And it's a very different approach, and I'm not sure why, but the uh, powers that be just say they're not going to go any further into this. That's the decision, and it's going to be final. It's interesting because he released a statement uh, a little earlier saying that yeah. he had uh, some very deeply private and, and personal issues, uh, but didn't elaborate either on uh, why he isn't going back into caucus. It's a head shaker. Um, he was a star recruit, a star candidate when he won. He was given a, a portfolio he uh, was uh, welcomed warmly into. He was an inspirational leader for Aboriginal causes. Uh, I, I know it's at least one charity uh, that he was working very closely with uh, to uh, raise the Aboriginal uh, concerns and Indigenous people indeed throughout the spectrum and then suddenly to be given the pariah treatment suggests there's something more uh, than just an alcohol treatment issue uh, but I don't know what that is. Yeah and even when this happened Don the response from the Prime Minister's office was as you say a lot different than it was uh, when Seamus O'Regan was uh, announced he was going into rehab for personal reasons. Uh, it was a very terse Absolutely. statement from the Prime Minister's office. Right, and one would think that if it was just a question of seeking treatment for alcohol addiction, that uh, a leader would be supportive of that. It's a recognition you have a problem and you're taking steps to deal with it, and happens thousands of times daily across the country when people uh, admit they have these problems. Uh, there's got to be more. This is not a story uh, that is complete in any way, shape, or form. Um, one, it's surprising, frankly, uh, something hasn't leaked out somewhere about this, Jennifer, but mm -hmm. it hasn't. It's uh, fairly airtight. Uh, I'm sure it wasn't a criminal issue, because if it was, there's no way the Prime Minister's office would cover that up. Uh, it's just inexplicable. <laughs> but I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, all right. Well, we will leave it at that for now, but uh, appreciate it, Don, as always. Good to talk to you. You bet, Jennifer. Don